Hey guys, Josh Loren here, Country Classic Cars. Um, we showed you guys this car in one of our sneak peeks uh, a couple weeks ago, and now that we got it sorted out, ready to roll, we figured we'd give you that little in-depth tour uh, that we had talked about before. So what I have behind me here is a 1936 Pierce Arrow 8 enclosed limousine. Extremely rare car. We had a, a Pierce Arrow Historical Society member do research on this car uh, before we purchased it and claimed this is one of seven known survivors. So an extremely rare piece of automotive history behind us. Uh, as you'll see, first thing we'll point out, obviously, as you can see the, the windows in it, the glass. We don't know the, the whole history on this car. From what we've been able to tell, we think it was in some kind of fire. Uh, the car, not itself, but something around it was where it did do some of the some melting of the, of the glass. but. Body is obviously barn fine survivor condition. Uh, it hasn't been restored. Um, it's all there. That's one of the nice things about it is all, all the componentry is there. Everything works. Um, if you look at these, uh, a Pierce Arrow is something you just don't see very often, especially one of these later model Pierce Arrows and these limousines. Like I said, with only seven of these remaining in existence, um, this is not something you're going to see at your local car show, most likely. Uh, this particular example, uh, straight eight cylinder engine. Which we'll pop it open, let you guys check it out here real quick. This does run and drive. We got it running. Actually, uh, maybe in the video here in a minute, we'll show you a startup and, and take it around the parking lot and kind of give you a, a little sense of how she runs. But amazingly, she started right up and, and ran really good. We did have to do a little adjustment to the carburetor. Uh, it does have a new Stromberg carb on it. It's got new belts. Um, I think it's got new plugs and a new, new coil on it. It's been... It's been gone through by our guys. We wanted to make sure that was one of the things when we got this car. I was like, I want to drive it. It's a, it's really a creepy looking car. I think one of our sales guys referred to it as a, the Munsters car or something like that. Um, but it is a really, really, really neat piece of history. Um, lights, it's got dual sided spares. Um, all the lights are there. The grill, all the componentry is there. That's one thing that was really nice about this. We didn't really see a whole lot of missing components. I'm sure there's a few little Mickey Mouse things here and there that the vehicle might be missing, but for the most part, the vehicle is, is complete and intact. For something as rare as this, it's been in, in this condition. Usually when we find them, they're not running and they're falling apart and missing everything on the earth. Um, this one's a fairly complete example. Doors all open and closed properly. Um, interior's rough. It's all original. But as you can see, let me get out of the way here so you can take a peek at the interior here. I mean, it is just the way we got it. And this is the way it's been in storage. Once again, though, everything looks to be there. Um, you know, it is a manual transmission, floor mounted gear shifter. Straight eight cylinder engine. Um, just a really, really, really neat car. Newer tires on it. Uh, I think the wheels have been reconditioned. Obviously, they're in pretty good shape as you can compare those to the spares mounted on the side. They're uh, not, not quite as nice, but um, on the rear side of the vehicle, original bumper, tail lights, all are still there. Uh, trunk opens and closed, functions properly. There's a few, uh, few trim pieces that come with the car that were, were in it when we got it. And everything is really heavy on this car. Hood, trunk, doors, they definitely uh, are not lightweight machines. But with that, this is the 1936 Pierce Arrow Limo. Um, this is going to be going up on the website. Probably uh, we're shooting this video today. We're going to upload it today, so you'll see it. Uh, by the time you watch this video, it'll all over, already be on the website. You can see a full write-up on the car with the history that we have on it um, and our photography we've done of it. But with that being said, let's get to the exciting part. Let's hop in it, fire it up, and take it for a drive around the block and see how she does. Now I am. Okay. Let me get the... <laughs> so we're going to take the Pierce Arrow for a little spin here. Can we get the sun visor put back in its spot? Um, this is the, the, the Pierce Arrow uh, starting procedure on this car. It is a manual transmission, so clutch in. We're going to pop her in neutral. 
This one does have somebody added a, a toggle switch here for the fuel pump. So we'll put the fuel pump on. Fires right up. So reverse is all the way uh, to the left and up. And then you will get your arm work out because it does not have power steering, as you can imagine. It's a 1936. And here we go. Now, with the looks of this car, even though it does drive well, it might be a little scary to some people seeing this thing cruising that neighborhood. I said it kind of looks like the Munster's car, but it drives really well. And uh, let's take her for a little spin here and see, see how she feels. I don't think we're going to be doing any burnouts in it, and I don't think we're going to be taking any high-speed turns, but... For a car in this condition from 1936, especially one that has not been restored. Um, and this thing actually drives really well. Very smooth. Power delivery is real smooth. Turns good. No uh, no big issues. You can hear it coming from the suspension. Our, this lot out here is a little bumpy, so it's good for us. This is where we like to test drive some of our cars when we first get them in to see if we can hear any suspension noise or anything like that. And, this one is actually really comfortable, which I guess it should be considering it's a limousine. And I think we'll just stop it right there because something just fell off the damn car and it's not so nice anymore. Okay, so as I was saying, you don't hear any noise from, you know, coming from the suspension or anything. And as I said that, you heard a big clanging and something dragging on the ground. And that's what happens when you try and do a video. If something goes wrong right when you say everything's going right. So when we get out, I'll show you what exactly was going on with the car. It's actually a little... Mickey Mouse issue, no big deal. The, there's a bumper bracket that's broke on the car and part of the front bumper fell down while we were filming and started started dragging. But we're not gonna cut that out. We wanna, want you to see everything that we get to deal with when, when driving some of these old cars. So I'm gonna pull this up here and we're going to shut her down and get out and I will show you exactly what screwed up the first take of our video. All right, so here's what caused the noise. As you can see, the bumper mount's broken. Uh, it needs to be re-welded and popped back on. You know, usually we have it, had it sitting up there, but so while we were driving, this little guy, uh, right when I said there was no noise, this popped off and started dragging on the ground a little bit. So full disclosure, that's what was going on with the vehicle. But with that, like I said, overall, the, the car really, really drives well. Um, with anything of this this age and in this condition, like I said, it is not a fully restored car. This is something that uh, if you did want to actually go out and take it on the road and drive it, you know, there's going to be, you're going to have to go through and sort this thing out mechanically and make sure it's roadworthy. This is something that right now um, we wanted to make sure we could drive it around the parking lot, make sure things were functioning properly. Um, you know, this, this car is something you're going to have to, you know, if you're going to buy a car like this, you're, you're going to have a relationship with it. It's going to have uh, a lot of lot of lot of TLC. It's going to need to make this to bring this car really back to life. This is an excellent candidate for restoration, um, primarily just because of how beautiful the car is, but really with the rarity of this this particular brand and this particular model. This is something that um, you know we need to make sure stays preserved. Uh, you know you don't want to see these things sitting around and, and being lost in barns because with only seven of them being left, there's uh, you know there's not many more you can find to replace it with. So, once again, 1936 Pierce Arrow Limo. Um, be on the website soon. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot a comment or leave a message below. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out our website. We see the car posted on there. We are also on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, a couple other things that I don't even remember. Um, and we'll be on more shortly. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. You pass me a smoke. Yes, I'll take.